Hi pet lovers, hi poodle lovers. Thanks again for joining Gina's Grooming Channel and visiting ginasgrooming.com. Today we're gonna to be washing a standard poodle, but not just any standard poodle. This is Reagan, he's a very special boy. He is a retired show dog, so he's 10 years old now. But back in his heyday, he has some really impressive stats. He was the number one standard poodle in California for over a year, number four standard poodle in the nation. He also competed in Westminster in 2012 and made it to the finals as a two-year-old. So this is a very, very impressive dog. So thank you so much for helping us show people how to wash a standard poodle. Um, now, because he was a show dog, there are certain things you handle show coats a little differently than pet coats, but some of the things stand true no matter what kind of a poodle you're working with. And this is very important that you never want to go ahead and wash a poodle before thoroughly brushing your poodle. And the point that I want to make is if you don't separate the hair and have make sure that it's brushed out, what's going to happen is this hair can kind of snarl together and you're not going to get that shampoo and that water and that cleanliness all the way down to the root and in between every one of those follicles. So we want to make sure that this coat is separated or what we also say is we want to open this coat, right? So that there's no clumping of the coat anywhere on that coat. And then we go ahead and put him in the bath. So make sure you know that it's a two-step process. You're going to first brush your dog, brush out that coat, and then get him in the bath. We're going to go ahead and wash him in a shampoo. I am choosing the Esprit Rainforest Shampoo. Um, it, this has organic aloe vera in it. What's nice though, it doesn't over moisturize. It moisturizes, but doesn't flatten the coat. You always wanna make sure that your poodles have spring to their coat so you can get great sculpted haircuts from it. And for Reagan also, I'm gonna go ahead and do conditioner on certain parts of his body because he does have substantial coat length and because of his coat style, he can actually go ahead, get conditioned and still be springy. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll take you every step of the way through the bath. So with all dogs and poodles also, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the water that we use is tepid. We want it to be just slightly warm, okay? Because too warm dogs run a little hotter than humans, so you don't want to use the water that you would find would be good for you to take a shower in. You wanna go a little cooler. And the other thing that, that I wanna mention is that I go ahead and wash the entire body before I work on the neck and headpiece. That's to prevent them from shaking. They start shaking when you start getting around this part. So that's why I save it for last so that I don't have all the shampoo flying around unnecessarily. So what I first do, make sure the dog is getting used to the water. And I go ahead and soak them down.
Okay, final rinse, guys. All right, guys, well, I think that's it, but never go ahead and make the mistake of um, thinking your dog is done without going ahead and squeezing them out all parts of their body and look for that water to be running clear, especially around the ears. We want no shampoo residue, nothing left on their coat. Okay, I feel a little bit of conditioner in the tail, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse that a little more. So final checks, make sure we gently wring them out. This really helps in seeing that water, how it's running. No, he's looking good, all rinsed out. All right guys, well thank you again so much for joining and learning how to wash a poodle, especially a poodle of this stature. If you have any questions, put them down below in the comments. Um, you guys, if you like this video, make sure you click that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more videos like this. Really appreciate you joining today. We'll see you next time. Adiós.